everyone welcome back to my channel today i am doing this elegant coral festive makeup look for durga puja as well as for navratri it's a very vibrant day look which you can create or recreate and yeah if you're new to my channel then please take a moment and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that whenever i will come up with new content you will get the notification Moreover, you can follow me in my social media pages like Instagram, Facebook page, Twitter and my website. I will mention all the links in the description below. So don't forget to check that out. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Today I'm going to start with skin prep otherwise your makeup will not blend and sit properly on your skin. So yeah, for today I'm going to use L'Oreal Paris Revitalift Crystal Micro Essence. So I recently purchased this one, the smaller version of 22ml and it cost around Rs 250. So basically I was pretty much conscious that it will suit my combination skin or not. But uh, honestly speaking guys, it really uh, suited my skin. Uh, it really hydrates my skin and I prefer to use it after using the toner. Now if I talk about the primer, I'm not using a primer as you know I love to use this Clinique Web Start Hydro Blur Moisturizer. Uh, it works as a primer and uh, it helps to blur out all my pores. So if you're looking a good substitute for primer then you can opt for this one. I highly recommend it but I can understand it's a high-end product and it's pretty much expensive but it's worth a try. So don't forget to apply uh, this uh, hydro blur on your neck because I really want it to, to even out. And for the lip balm I am going to use the basic one from Hevia. That's what I am using nowadays. And uh, yeah, it's very important to hydrate your lips. For foundation today I am going to use L'Oreal True Match and I am in the shade Golden Beige. So don't worry, I am going to mention all the product links in the description below so don't forget to check that out. So yeah, I am taking this much amount and with the foundation I am going to mix this one from NYX Born to Glow. It's in liquid illuminator and it's in the shade Sunbeam. For today I wanted to add glow to my face and it's a perfect tube for max stroke cream. I'm putting dots all over my face and then blending it out with a tan beauty blender and also after blending it on my face make sure to apply it on your neck and yeah if I talk about this foundation it's a dewy one and a great choice for dry skin but for uh, combination skin or oily skin make sure to mix a matte foundation with it otherwise it is really not going to stay for a long time so uh, in case of recommendation i really don't want to recommend this one particularly to oily or combination skin beauties after blending it properly now i am moving towards the concealer so for concealer i'm going to use this one from wet n wild in the shade light to medium beige this one i purchased recently so let's see how it works okay about the applicator it's really cool but about the shade i think uh, it's a shade lighter than what i uh, desired and uh, yeah so thankfully i don't have that much of dark patches or dark circles uh, all around my face so yeah if you're willing to purchase this inexpensive concealer then i would like to suggest then uh, apply an orange corrector uh, beneath the concealer otherwise it may turn out uh, grayish now if we talk about the coverage it does give medium to high coverage at the price of 4.99 that is great so now let's move to setting powder from MAC next to nothing in the shade medium plus. So I'm going to set my concealer and foundation using it. This is a wonderful powder and this is my second purchase. I personally love this product. It gives a sheer shine on your face but sadly my camera is unable to capture it. Now moving to the eyebrow enhancer. This one is from Etude House and I purchased it recently with all the other products. 
okay honestly this one cost 250 and it gives a really really great finish so if you're looking forward uh, for an inexpensive eyebrow enhancer then i will highly recommend it moreover it does have around four to five shades i am not sure but i will mention the link in the description below so once again don't forget to check that out and here it gives you a natural finish not a heavy finish which uh, nika pro chica used to give me so yeah as you can see the difference i loved it so yeah i'm going to clean it using the same setting powder from mac and let's move to the eyeshadow this one is from nyx and it's i guess warm rust yeah let me see yeah warm rust and i personally love this palette because it has all the nude and dark shades so yeah i'm going to start with the matte coral shade and i'm using a fluffy brush from wet n wild it's a blending eyeshadow brush and it's also inexpensive and it's a great brush for all the beginners so yeah uh, i will mention the link of my beauty brushes in the description below don't forget to check that out so yeah as you can see it gives a beautiful finish now i am taking this nude shade the matte nude shade and uh, going to blend it out so that there will be no harsh line now as you can see that my eyeshadow really blended well so yeah i'm taking this shimmer coral shade uh, using a flat brush this one is also from wet n wild don't worry i will mention the link below so yeah i am concentrating on my lower eyelid area and not on the upper eyelid area just to enhance the base of the coral shade now moving to the glitter part of the coral one it is a beautiful color it's not chunky it gives a very sober and elegant finish as you can see it's a perfect one for day look and now I'm today I'm going to use a kajal this one is from Lotus Eco Stay it's a smudge pro I'm applying on my lower waterline and I'm going to smudge it using a pro art brush to give it a smoky look now uh, after smudging it out uh, I want to intensify the look for that I'm taking this matte brown shade from the palette and applying it and uh, yeah as you can see I'm just softly dragging it yeah uh, this look is really out of my comfort zone uh, now moving to the eyeliner this one is from the colossal liner Maybelline, line and this is a pen liner so i was a bit nervous while applying it because this is for the first time i am uh, trying this out before than that i never ever tried this uh, uh, this pen liners so yeah it took me a while but uh, it does give me a great finish for the mascara i'm using voluminous lash paradise from l'oreal paris i recently purchased from nika and when i purchased it it was at 25 percent discount so yeah always look out for discount to purchase that because it might be a bit expensive but it is worth a try as you can see it gives really a good definition to my lashes both upper and lower now moving to the lipstick so yeah for lipstick i'm going to use the l'oreal paris rouge signature matte liquid lipstick in the shade 135 admired it's a very soft classy color uh, variable especially for daytime and especially if you're not into this bright or dark deep shades then you can give it a try now if i talk about the formula i really love it it really though it's a matte lipstick but it doesn't make my lips cakey or chappy moreover i am using it as my blush so yeah at first i really tried to blend it using my fingers but i failed it miserably so i opted for brush so yeah uh, it uh, afterwards really blended well so if you're looking to make a purchase for this range then give it a try you must try i personally love the formula and also i'm applying it on my nose to give it a blushed look so for the highlighter i'm going to try this one from maybelline master chrome in the shade if i'm not wrong molten gold yes molten gold so yeah i'm going to apply it using a fan brush from wet n wild 
Here I'm applying this highlighter on the high point of my cheek and look at the glow. Alright, uh, and also on my forehead, my chin area and I'm taking a separate brush, a pointed one and applying it on the nose and cupid bow and yeah, my brow bone and also the inner corner of my eyes so that my eyes will look bright. Now moving to the setting spray, I'm going to use this one from Faces Canada and uh, i kind of like this formula it really helps to set my makeup on my face and gives a quite a dewy finish so here i am as you can see that i'm wearing a off shoulder top so for that i'm going to take this uh, one from nyx which i used as a highlighter and i'm going to apply it on my shoulder my collar bones to give it a shine and a glow so after applying this, I'm going to set it with a setting spray. So yes guys, this is the final look which I created. I really hope that you liked it and enjoyed it. So if you did, then don't forget to like my video, share my video and also subscribe my channel. Be a part of my YouTube family, support me in my journey and I'm really grateful to all of you whoever subscribed my channel. Thank you so much. you can create this look or recreate this look for your durga puja or navratri with a traditional attire i'm sure it will go really great so see you soon in my next video till then take care of yourself stay home stay safe and if you're going out you know what to do wear a mask and i love you all bye